Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate a plane in top view in After Effects. So for that, this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson. And this is how the layers are separated in Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. Ok, let's jump into After Effects. Ok, so we have already imported the illustration file. Let's open the composition. So these are the illustration layers divided. Now we are going to select all the layers of the plane and precomp it. Let's precomp it and name it plane. Go inside the composition and we are going to precomp this fan layer. So we are going to duplicate this layer once again and put it over here for another copy. Let's delete this illustration layer. Get inside the fan and we are going to convert this blade into a shape layer. Let's rename the layer and remove outline from the name. So now we are going to animate the blade. Open the path property. Put a keyframe at 0, jump on to next two frame and we are going to shrink the length. Again jump on to next two frame, we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframe. After that we are going to apply an expression to loop the path in After Effects. So this is the expression to loop a path in After Effects and then we are going to animate this reflection on the class. So select the reflection, put a position keyframe over here, place it over here, then jump on to next 10 frame and we are going to just move it this side. Select the keyframes and press F9 to ease the keyframes. After that, we are going to apply and loop expression. Alright, now we are going to duplicate this glass layer, put it above and use it as an alpha mat. Let's check out. Alright, so with this our plane animation is done. Now we are going to animate the environment. So now let's focus on one element at a time. Let's lock up the background. And we are going to animate this island over here. Let's turn off the visibility of these layers. So select these layers, open the position, put a keyframe over here. Let's move it outside this precomp window. Same with this one. Then let's jump on to around 90 frames. We are going to select and drag it this side and pull it outside like this. Alright, let's add the loop expression. Alright, so we are going to slightly offset these layers. Maybe like this. We can even add some more islands over here by duplicating the layer like this. For this one as well, let's duplicate this layer. And let's offset it a bit. Let's check it now. Alright, with this view, it is going to look better. And it is going to look something like this. Alright, now we can simply select all these island layers and lock it up. First of all, shy it out and lock it up and turn on this because we don't need to work with these layers anymore. Now we are going to animate these clouds. So we are going to make the clouds slightly faster than the island to add some parallax effect. 
So press P to open the position. Put keyframes over here. Then we are going to jump on to around 31 frame and move it at this point outside the screen. And at the start, we are going to drag it outside. All right, let's add the loop expression. Let's check it. Yeah, it has added some nice parallax effect. I think we can slow it down a bit. Yeah, this one is looking better. Now, after that, we can even duplicate these layers to add more clouds to it. So let's duplicate it. And we're going to slightly offset it like this. Even offset this too, maybe like this. All right. So now we're going to animate this cloud, the top cloud. So put a P frame on position at zero and we are going to make it faster than this clouds because it is at the top. So let's put a keyframe over here. We are going to move it outside and at this point, we are going to move it this side. Let's copy the loop expression, paste it over here. Let's check it. I think we can make it even faster. Yeah, this one is looking better. Let's check it from this window. Let's bring the work area end over here. All right. So the only thing that's left is this wave animation. So now we are going to do that. But before that, I would like to convert the clouds, all these clouds into Let's change the blending mode to soft light. And for the front one, I would like to change it to overlay. All right, let's turn off the visibility of this wave and let's check out now. Yeah, this one is looking better. So now let's animate these waves. So let's select these clouds, turn off a lock and shy out the layers, even this one. So now we're going to add a shape over here, a rectangle, and let's apply a wave warp effect. So we're going to change the settings a bit. So let's change the direction a bit. Let's give around 220. And we're going to change the painting to the top edge. Then let's change the height and give it around 60. Width at around 400. Let's check it. Slightly increasing the speed. All right. Now we're going to duplicate this effect once again. So select this effect and press Ctrl T to duplicate the effect. After that, we're going to vary the settings a bit. Let's give it around 390. And we're going to phase it slightly differently. All right, let's Put it over here. Duplicate this layer and put it over here. Let's phase it. Change the phase by around 90 degree or so. And after that, let's delete these layers and we're going to change the blending mode to soft light. Now let's check it from this window.
All right, so that is how you can animate a plane from top view with the background. And also in the next lesson, we are also going to learn how to animate this exhaust trail smoke animation in After Effects. So stay tuned for that as well. So that is it for this lesson. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I will be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.